Well, good morning. You find me out to explore the northeast coast and see what landscape photography I can get, so why not come with me? Well, good morning. And I got up very early this morning and it's just about sunrise now, but I've driven over to the northeast coast because um, I have my Masonic meeting this evening in Gateshead. So I thought I'd come and see what we can explore around here. And we're starting here. If I turn round, you'll be able to see it. There we go, with the St Mary's Lighthouse. It's somewhere I've never actually been before. So we're going to start with some sunrise shots here. Some sunrise images. And then we're going to, I'm not going to, maybe head up to Blythe. Then down to the Tyne. And maybe into South Shields. And see what we can see there. So that's the plan today. Something a little bit different to get some nice interesting seascapes etc so anyway yeah well I'm a mooch around see what image we and um, what composition we can come up for, with for the lighthouse and we'll see you a little bit later right well we've come up with our first composition um, the path comes down there onto the, the sort of causeway that's under the water at the moment because we're in virtually at high tide. And there are people taking pictures there and I may go and capture some shortly. But what I wanted to do was getting the sun coming up and as you can see there we've got the lighthouse with the sun just rising behind it. So that's the images that I've been capturing. How they'll come out, I don't know, but that's the angle I wanted to get, whereas down on the causeway there, you just, you wouldn't get the, the sun coming up in the same, yeah, in the same frame as the lighthouse. So that's why I've come round here. I may go, once the sun's come up and put in light, on that side of the lighthouse I may go around and see what I can get but yeah it's a good start so as you can see the sun's now come up and it's going behind the clouds I might just take one or two more images from here then I'm going to work my way back around to the the causeway see what we can get there and then I'm not quite sure what we're going to do then so anyway I think we've got off to a good start and the best of the images of the lighthouse will put up and we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, well you now find us in Blythe. Now I came from St Mary's Lighthouse which I think hopefully you can see in the distance there and parked at Seaton Sluice which is the headland you can see and was hoping to get some images there. There are some in images to be had but I just felt that the light at that point wasn't suitable so I thought I'd walk along the beach. Took a little bit longer than I thought but we've got all day so the time post when I got here to lie said two miles so yeah that's fair enough and you can see the the beach there and then across to the harbour etc or maybe have a wander in that direction see what we can see the other thing is down there I probably won't um, video but there's some beach huts coloured beach huts so we'll have a go at catching the image of those and but what there is is there's an old naval battery you can see the barrel of the gun these are actually um, replicas if I come zoom out a bit but if I come round here and zoom in you see there it says that the re replicas made and um, were unveiled in 6th of April 2019 so that's, that's about five years ago so what I thought was I'd, I'd try and come up with some sort of composition with these I mean if you look there you can see the camera I don't know how well will be to uh, come round but there's the camera and the idea is that we've got the the barrel and then you can just see the end of the the harbour pier um, I mean if we look at the back of the screen the, the last image that I took I think it was F11 125th of a second and 100 ISO so that, that's what we've done we'll maybe have a go at some other images and that uh, and we'll see what comes so the best we'll put up we'll have a mooch around see what else we can see then we'll go down to the beach huts and maybe just have a wander along to the harbour piers i don't know whether that might be something we can we can capture the image of so right anyway i'll stop rambling and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've made it to the pier at the end of the beach. We may not get 
not much else were today because I think by the time I've walked all the way back to Seaton Sluice and got some captured some images there and got back to the van there may not be a huge amount of time left but it's been a good day so here we are at the pier actually under the pier and I have taken a couple of images one is more or less what you see now looking down under the pier now that was a bracketed image because of the high dynamic range and I've just got the camera you'll see where it's set up there just looking out to the lighthouse and uh, the pier there this is where the boats can come in to come to Blythe port um, I think now I'm not quite sure I don't know whether that's the River Wandsbeck that actually then flows out into the sea at Blythe so don't know but we're gonna have a wander around I did see some people walking on the pier so it looks as though you can actually go down it so once we've finished here we'll maybe go up onto the top see what we can see so yeah it's it's a very nice day it's not particularly warm a little bit cool at times but yeah so hopefully they're just a bit something different particularly the one looking looking out there so yeah any that are any good we'll put up on the video and then we'll be heading back towards Seaton Sluice and I think on the way back I'll have the camera out round my neck so I may do some handheld shots of anything I see on the way so yeah anyway we'll see you a little bit later just quickly to say we've come along to the end of the pier a uh, little nerve-wracking I find but never mind it's solid as a rock but yeah there's gaps and uh, maybe it's just old age creeping in but yeah there's there's views you can see over there there's St Mary's lighthouse that we started off at sunrise and then we're slowly coming around so yeah we've walked quite a way and we've got to walk back to the beach now I was just looking at the map and the river coming out here is the River Blythe. I was getting mixed up. The River Wandsbeck is probably about a couple of miles further up the coast. The River Wandsbeck is near Ashington which is where we lived when we were first married long before we moved to the Lake District. So I've taken some handheld shots 
and then we're just going to walk back and then we're going to walk back along the beach all the way to Seaton Sluice and see what else we can find. There's certainly some images I want to capture there and hopefully the light's a bit better now. So anyway, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well I'm walking back to Seaton Sluice at the moment along the beach and I suddenly thought there may be that it's um, too much for one video and I might end up doing this as two videos. So if I do that this will be the end of the first part and if you watched it so far thank you very very much and yeah it's been a good day so far i think we've got some nice images i certainly got the sunset at um St. mary's lighthouse and we've got some images at Blythe. so yeah it's, it's it's good it's it's just good to come somewhere slightly different for a change so yeah so yeah just to remind people if you've enjoyed this particular video why not click the thumbs up if you like what I'm doing and you haven't already subscribed please subscribe it's all very very good for the for the channel for the algorithms to push it and yeah if, you, if there's anything anything at all please comment all comments are much appreciated and given I didn't realise I was walking as much, I haven't brought my GPS, so there'll be no map showing where I've been, but they're all fairly well-known places, easy to find on a map. So, yeah, the walk was a bit further, so, yeah. Anyway, I'll stop um, <laughs> rambling on, and we'll see you on the next video.